cinnamon, cinnamomum zeylanicum, and cinnamon cassia, the eternal tree of tropical medicine, belongs to the Loraceae family. Cinnamon is one of the most important spices used daily by people all over the world. Cinnamon primarily contains vital oils and other derivatives, such as cinnamaldehyde, cinnamic acid, and cinnamate. In addition to being an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, antimicrobial, anti-cancer, lipid lowering, and cardiovascular disease lowering compound. Cinnamon has also been reported to have activities against neurological disorders, such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's diseases. So, today, we'll delve deep into the world of cinnamon, a topic that blends science, technology, and our everyday eating habits. Let's uncover why cinnamon is healthy. The bark of various cinnamon species is one of the most important and popular spices used worldwide not only for cooking, but also in traditional and modern medicines. Overall, approximately 250 species have been identified among the cinnamon genus, with trees being scattered all over the world. Cinnamon is mainly used in the aroma and essence industries due to its fragrance, which can be incorporated into different varieties of foodstuffs, perfumes, and medicinal products. The most important constituents of cinnamon are cinnamaldehyde and trans-cinnamaldehyde, which are present in the essential oil, thus contributing to the fragrance and to the various biological activities observed with cinnamon. In addition to being used as a spice and flavoring agent, cinnamon is also added to flavor chewing gums due to its mouth refreshing effects and ability to remove bad breath. Cinnamon can also improve the health of the colon, thereby reducing the risk of colon cancer. Cinnamon is a coagulant and prevents bleeding. Cinnamon also increases the blood circulation in the uterus and advances tissue regeneration. This plant plays a vital role as a spice, but its essential oils and other constituents also have important activities, including antimicrobial, antifungal, antioxidant, and anti-diabetic. Cinnamon consists of a variety of resinous compounds, including cinnamaldehyde, cinnamate, cinnamic acid, and numerous essential oils. The spicy taste and fragrance are due to the presence of cinnamaldehyde and occur due to the absorption of oxygen. As cinnamon ages, it darkens in color, improving the resinous compounds. Various extracts from cinnamon, such as ether, aqueous, and methanolic, have been identified to possess considerable antioxidant activities. Other research has shown cinnamon's ability to inhibit fatty acid oxidation and lipid peroxidation in vitro, while certain compounds derived from it can prevent nitric oxide production. Essential oils and compounds like E, cinnamaldehyde, eugenol, and linalool in cinnamon have been researched for their effect on lipid peroxidation. These oils, especially eugenol, were found effective. The yield and composition of volatile compounds in cinnamon bark oil vary based on the growth stage of the cinnamomum cassia tree. Moreover, a tree's bark tends to yield more essential oil, with efficiency and extraction improving based on selecting bark from specific tree growth stages. Apart from antioxidant properties, Cinnamon can act as a preservative in foods like cakes. Films coated with cinnamon leaf extract have been identified with high antioxidant and antibacterial activities. Cinnamaldehyde, 
a major compound extracted from Cinnamomum cassia, is notably recognized for its antity rosinase activity, which has applications in cosmetics, medicine, and food due to its ability to suppress hyperpigmentation and prevent browning effects in certain foods exposed to light or air. Research on medicinal plants highlights the anti-inflammatory capabilities of cinnamon. Numerous studies have confirmed the anti-inflammatory activity of both cinnamon and its essential oils. Flavonoid compounds like gossipine, naphalin, hesperidin, and quercetin, among others, that are isolated from cinnamon, have been identified with anti-inflammatory effects. A specific compound, from Cinnamomum cassia bark, 2-hydroxy-cinnamaldehyde, has been found to hinder nitric oxide production, suggesting its potential as an anti-inflammatory agent. The ethanolic extract of Cinnamomum cassia also exhibits anti-inflammatory actions. Moreover, compounds in Cinnamomum ramulus possess anti-inflammatory properties, especially in suppressing certain enzymes and nitric oxide in the central nervous system. This makes Cinnamomum ramulus a potential candidate for treatments or prevention of inflammation-related neurodegenerative diseases. Additionally, cinnamon's aqueous extract has been seen to reduce specific tumor necrosis factor levels in the serum. Parkinson's disease or PD is a major neurodegenerative disorder. Recent research suggests cinnamon's potential in therapeutic strategies for PD. Another study indicates that the aqueous extract of cinnamon can diminish tau aggregation and filament formation, key hallmarks of Alzheimer's, signifying cinnamon's potential therapeutic role in treating Alzheimer's disease. Cinnamon is also recognized for its potential anti-diabetic properties. An element identified as the insulin potentiating factor, or IPF, has been derived from cinnamon, supporting its role in aiding diabetes management. Additionally, cinnamon bark has demonstrated anti-diabetic effects in diabetic rats. Also, various studies have showcased cinnamon extract's ability to decrease both blood glucose and cholesterol levels. And, MHCP, a purified polymer from cinnamon, has been identified to stimulate glucose oxidation. Other identified compounds from cinnamon have been noted to possess anti-diabetic effects, such as naphthalene methyl ester. Several polyphenols, including rutin, catechin, and quercetin, among others, have been isolated from cinnamon. One study illustrated that the aqueous extract of cinnamon, purified with high-performance liquid chromatography, HPLC, and rich in polyphenols, displayed insulin-like activity. And, cinnamon's aqueous extract notably reduces alanine absorption in rat intestines. Alanine, significant in gluconeogenesis, could potentially be influenced by cinnamon. Some studies have yielded different results. For example, a study on diabetic postmenopausal women indicated that cinnamon supplementation did not effectively control glycemia. Variations in results could arise from differences in cinnamon dosages used, baseline glucose and lipid levels, or other factors. Recently, a study highlighted that specific doses of cinnamon of the linalool chemotype might improve glycemic control in diabetics, possibly due to increased insulin secretion. This suggests that the protection of pancreatic beta cells may be related to the reduction of oxidative stress and pro-inflammatory conditions in the pancreas. In essence, while cinnamon has exhibited promising anti-diabetic effects in various studies, results can vary, highlighting the need for further research. Cinnamon oils have been found effective against various bacterial, fungal, and yeast species, 
making cinnamon a notable natural antimicrobial agent. According to research studies, when combined with clove oils, cinnamon showcased antibacterial activity against both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, including potentially harmful strains like Listeria monocytogenes, Escherichia coli, and Staphylococcus aureus. In a study exploring the activity of plant extracts against oral microflora, the essential oil from cinnamon was found to be more potent than other plant extracts, such as those from Azadaracta indica and Syzygium aromaticum. Cinnamon has displayed potential anti-cancer properties in various studies. The aqueous extract and procyanidins fraction of cinnamon obtained from HPLC have been found to inhibit VEGFR2 kinase activity. This action hinders angiogenesis, a process essential for cancer growth, suggesting cinnamon's role in cancer prevention. Furthermore, Cinnamaldehydes have been synthesized and proven to inhibit angiogenesis. CB403, a chemical derived from 2-hydroxycinnamaldehyde of cinnamaldehyde, has been shown to inhibit tumor growth. Studies both in animals and cell cultures underline cinnamon's potential as an anti-cancer agent. A study, involving cinnamon and cardamom treatments on mice with AOM-induced colon cancer, showed that these spices enhanced the activities of the detoxifying enzyme GST, while also reducing lipid peroxidation levels. This indicates the potential protective role of cinnamon against colon cancer. Cinnamon and its components have been identified for their potential benefits in cardiovascular health. 2-meth-oxycinnamaldehyde, isolated from cinnamon, decreases VCAM1 expression in TNF-alpha-activated endothelial cells. This suggests its role in reducing ischemia injuries due to the induction of heme oxygenase 1. And, recent studies have emphasized the protective effects of cinnamic aldehyde and cinnamic acid against myocardial ischemia, suggesting cinnamon's potential therapeutic use in cardiovascular diseases. Cinnamophilin, which is derived from C. philippinensis, has thromboxane A2 or TXA2 receptor blocking activity. This makes it useful in treating diseases related to TXA2 disorders, like platelet aggregation and certain cancers. It specifically inhibits thromboxane receptor-mediated vascular muscle cell growth, implying its potential in preventing vascular diseases and atherosclerosis. Also, cinnamaldehyde produces hypotensive effects, mainly attributed to peripheral vasodilation, its vasodilatory effect lasts even post the recovery period of blood pressure drops. Recent research indicates that cinnamaldehyde relaxes rat vascular smooth muscle, with the vasodilatory effect likely due to the inhibition of both calcium ion influx and release. Moreover, cinnamaldehyde has been shown to prevent hypertension development in both type 1 and type 2 diabetes by reducing vascular contractility. This effect complements its previously noted insulin-stimulating property in insulin deficiency. In essence, cinnamon and its components present a myriad of benefits for the cardiovascular system, including vasodilation, inhibition of platelet aggregation, and potential prevention of vascular diseases. Cinnamon has been shown to have beneficial effects on lipid profiles. When administered to mice, cinnamon improved their lipid profile by decreasing high-density lipoprotein HDL, cholesterol levels and reducing plasma triglycerides. And during the rat studies, rats that were given cinnamomum cassia powder at 15% for 35 days experienced reductions in total cholesterol, 
triglycerides, and low-density lipoproteins or LDL. Also in broiler chicken studies, the cholesterol levels in broiler chickens were lowered with the administration of cinnamon oils. Recently research studies has focused on human studies regarding the beneficial effect of cinnamon. Khan et al. found that daily doses of cinnamon, 1, 3, and 6 grams in humans led to decreases in serum glucose, triglyceride, total cholesterol, and LDL cholesterol levels. In summary, various studies across different species, including humans, have shown that cinnamon can lead to improvements in lipid profiles, emphasizing its potential health benefits. So this is why people say cinnamon is healthy, according to science. Then, let's summarize today's lesson. Cinnamon has been used as a spice in daily life without any side effects. Several reports have dealt with the numerous properties of cinnamon in the forms of bark, essential oils, bark powder, phenolic compounds, flavonoids, and isolated components. Each of these properties plays a key role in the advancement of human health. The antioxidant and antimicrobial activities may occur through the direct action on oxidants or microbes, whereas the anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, and anti-diabetic activities occur indirectly via receptor-mediated mechanisms. The significant health benefits of numerous types of cinnamon have been explored. Further investigations are necessary to provide additional clinical evidence for the traditional uses of this spice against cancer and inflammatory, cardioprotective, and neurological disorders. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and if you found this insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.